YouTube, Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to be talking about the best pen fed credit cards. Now, here's the thing about it, guys. I've been talking about this internal scoring thing. And now what's starting to happen is the markets are starting to tighten up. Banks are starting to become more stingy. And to think about it, that internal score is going to really matter. That means that when you uh, apply for some of these uh, credit cards and stuff, it gives it's best that you may have a personal checking account with them with direct deposit as well as um, a savings account. Now, the good thing about Pen Fed is that they could, they'll easily let you in with $5, right? Uh, to let one of their charities or whatever. But the thing about it, you have to understand is that a lot of lenders on the personal side and business side are starting to tighten up, okay? And because they're tightening up, it's gonna be harder and harder for people to raise capital. So that's the reason I tell you guys to start trying to focus on building up your credit. So I'm gonna uh, walk you all some of the backdoor strategies in terms of building up your credit to be able to take advantage of getting more funding as the markets change. Now, here's the thing about it. Um, since PenFed is a FICO 9, um, FICO 9 that uses FICO 9, right? So one of the things about FICO 9 credit score is much easier to build up, okay? Because you can add rent, utilities, these type of things. And so if you're going to be adding rent, one of the best places to go is using one of these. The reason is there's like about 11 to 15 other rent reporting companies out there but these are the three that actually will report to all three credit bureaus okay now i did previously make a video talking about the built credit card that gives you rewards and stuff for paying your rent but also you can actually get two trade lines primary trade lines out of that system as well so if you want to see that video i'll put a link in the description or just put a comment say hey houston can i see that video on the built credit card okay now again these here companies they will report to all three credit bureaus and that's the reason i tell you guys if you're paying rent with cash and money order stop that okay um don't do that because you're not actually getting any credit for it. Whoever else is on the lease, they're getting credit for it. Not probably not even reporting on their credit file, but so that it can actually show up as a primary trade line to help you build up your credit score so that you can get qualified not only for more funding, but to be able to help you get qualified for your own real estate investment. So this is how you actually take advantage of it so that you can start into real estate investing or buying your first home, right? So um, again, that built video actually explains more about it. So I'll put it a link below so you can actually check it out. Now, here's another thing. Other ways for you to build up your FICO 9. Okay, we're not going to worry about the FICO 8. We're focusing on the FICO 9 because the FICO 9 will influence your FICO 8 credit score. As a matter of fact, it's going to influence your FICO 8, 5, 2, 3, as well as the new FICO 10, okay, which is the more real reporting update or whatever that lenders may start using. But for right now, we want to focus on everybody that's using FICO 9, okay? So, because of pen fed and i'll tell you another reason you want to do this here first because a lot of people when they uh join pen fed uh and they apply for a credit card they may give them a low limit they may give them a limit of uh 1500 maybe 2000 on a visa signature card most visa signature cards they start at a 5000 but because you may have a low credit score or a thin credit file and stuff like that, and you just join in PenFed, they may give you a smaller amount, okay? But adding these type of trade lines to your credit file to thicken up the credit file to help boost up the credit score, then you'll have more leverage to get $5,000 or more from PenFed. 
Now, again, with the subscriptions like Netflix, Hulu, your car insurance, car insurance, uh, gym membership, those type of things adding to the credit file can help boost up your credit score. Of course, with the pledge loan and credit builder loans, uh, Experian Boost, removing inquiries, this is a big one. This is very big. Now, understanding that um, we're going to talk about the um, uh, excuse me, the pen fed credit cards and stuff. But if you're able to remove uh, a lot of hard inquiries and stuff like that, that's definitely going to help. Adding an authorized user. Uh, if you use your debit card a lot, then having your debit card transactions uh, reported through uh, the extra debit card app or one financial. Okay, so you can use both of them. The extra debit card app they report to your experience and your equifax okay and then of course the rental stuff now here's one of the key things once you added those other trade lines and say that you may have a high dti right well or you trying to get a, a, a real good loan loan limit then you probably want to look at upstart okay because they focus more on the job they focus more on how long you've been at your resident. Uh, those are the things that factor in for them. Okay, and again, it's TransUnion FICO 9, so you can borrow from a thousand up to 50,000. And, and they are very generous. And the good thing about it, they do work in all 50 states. So then I would probably add this here um, to my credit file so that I can at least try to get a $5,000 or $10,000 line of credit. So that way when I approach Penn Fed, I know that I'm going to get a higher limit credit line, okay? Now, also, here's another one, the Patel cards. Again, FICO 9. And by the way, these here uh, accounts, they will do a soft pull so that you don't get the hard inquiry. Now with upgrade, once you actually accept a loan, because they actually tell you how much of a loan you actually qualify for before you even accept it. So that's the good thing about them. But with the Patel 1 and Patel 2, one goes from 300 to 10,000, one goes from 300 to 5,000. So adding this on so that you can have a at least a high revolving uh, credit card would definitely help with your FICO 9 score, okay? Now, looking at the PenFed credit cards, they have the PenFed Power Cash Rewards Visa, okay? And again, in order to join, it's just opening up a savings account for $5. Uh, usually the Visa Signature cards, okay, they start at about 5000 once you become a member, again, they're going to pull your FICO 9 Equifax. The average credit score for this card is a 680, 690. Now, here's the interesting thing about Penn Fed. You can get a credit card with them with even a 620 credit score because people have gotten credit cards with them. All right, with a 620, uh, some people may have like a, a discharge bankruptcy that have gotten credit cards with uh, Pen Fed. If you've uh, gotten your credit cards and you knew and you know uh, that you had challenging credit and they still gave you a credit card, put a comment below. Let us know what happened. You know, um, so it has a 0% cash advance fee, a, a 0% on a balance transfer for 12 months. Okay. Then you have the Pen Fed Go. Again, um, PenFed Gold should start at about 5000 but the reason uh, for most people end up with lower limits is because they may have uh, too many open revolving accounts, they may have uh, too many um, negative accounts, right? So they'll give you a card, but it may not start at about 5000 okay? As a matter of fact, like I said, this one starts at about 500 but it all depends, and again, like I said, it's a FICO 9, but it all depends in terms of what are your op other open revolving accounts and the limits on those as well, okay? Then you have the PenFed Platinum Rewards Visa, okay? It starts at about 5,000, uh, FICO 9, no annual fee, 680, 690 credit score, but again, I just told you guys that uh, some of you guys 
may qualify for this here card even with a 620 credit score okay now you have the uh, PinFed uh, Pathfinder right and so the PinFed Pathfinder uh, again is one of those cards that gives a lot of rewards and stuff so I guess that's what most people try to get it for but if you're trying to actually uh, build up your personal credit funding then again you notice that three out of the uh, four cards and they also have a pen fed American Express card as well that I forgot to include but three out of the four they usually ha are a visa signature card okay they're usually a visa signature card and again like I said building up that FICO 9 and make it easier and having a, a some good trade lines on there and make it easier for you to get that 5,000 plus um, credit card. So if you have any questions about business credit, personal credit, uh, how to get business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Thank you.